we have to do better and we're going to have to take uh, many steps uh, in order to do that. We have to have the dialogue about common sense solutions to what we're seeing. But also, uh, we have to be better role models, we have to be better, better people and uh, rem remember uh, about why you know, we're, we're the greatest country in the world. And uh, we have to live up to that. So, uh, so we have to have this, uh, this conversation. So I'm, I'm very concerned uh, about the direction and what we're seeing. Does this spark any new interest for you in considering additional gun control measures? Or well, I think, again, uh, you know, some of this, uh, what we've seen, uh, we, we feel uh, that this was based on race. Uh, we need to have conversations uh, about uh, that as well. Uh, and remember, I mean, the, the positive news in some respects is uh, that racism uh, is learned behavior. Uh, it's not part of our DNA. It's something that we learn. Uh, so uh, we, again, have a responsibility, each and every one of us, uh, to do better in that regard be better neighbors, uh, have more respect, more civility, and more welcoming. So what does that mean in Vermont? Well, I think we're, we're taking steps. Again, we, uh, I think we've done a lot here uh, in terms of uh, uh, gun control measures. First of all, uh, we took that step, as you remember, uh, a little over a year ago. Uh, I see uh, many other states following suit. Uh, we're seeing some, some talk about some of the steps we made uh, a year and a half ago that they uh, may be contemplating uh, nationally. So uh, again, uh, we need to, uh, to take other steps. Mental health issues are important to identify. Uh, a better, I think, uh, uh, reestablishing working on the NICS system uh, is going to be important uh, in the future as well. So uh, we uh, will continue to do what we can to protect our citizens. Public safety is, uh, is the highest priority of any government, uh, this one in Vermont as well as uh, nationally. So uh, we have a lot of work to do. And what did you make of the president's call uh, for background checks? This He said that there's a, a, a hunger. Do you think that's something that Congress should tackle? Well, I think uh, I think they, they have a responsibility as well. I think, as I said, the background checks, the NICS system, uh, could use some improvement. I think regardless, I think we need to, to first of all, have better background checks, um, but then uh, look within the system uh, and enhance that to make sure that we're getting all the information that we need uh, in that system. So. Uh, I, I'm, I'm encouraged in some respects that we're having this national dialogue, but it takes more than words. Uh, we, need, we need some action. Do we need to improve our background check system in Vermont? It's part of the federal system. Uh, the NICS system is a, is a national uh, information system. So uh, I, think, uh, I think, again, first step, one step at a time. Uh, let's, uh, let's adopt that, uh, better background checks, but then let's look at the system itself and make sure we're getting and receiving all the information that we need. Uh, well, one step that we took in the State House this year is uh, was a 24-hour waiting period on handguns, in part uh, so that we could have better background checks, and also so that um, an important piece that that piece of legislation took um, uh, closed what's known as the Charleston loophole. So, per federal law, um, if your background check doesn't clear in, I think it's three days, don't quote me on that part of it, um, then you can get a gun. It's called the Charleston loophole because there was a situation in Charleston um, where somebody's background check didn't clear. They were able to get the gun because their background check hadn't cleared, so they hadn't been denied, so they were able to get the gun and did fairly immediate harm with it. Um, and, and just after people died, um, the background check came back saying, nope, um, and oftentimes those background checks, in those in this very small amount of cases that it's held up, it is because there's a question, um, because there may be something active. And so, um, so I think when the when the governor vetoed that bill, I think he, you made some sort of comment about you'd be willing to have a conversation. So um, he and I haven't had a chance to sit down and talk about what that conversation might be. But um, but yes, I'm willing to continue to have the conversation about how we can strengthen the background checks, how we can close that Charleston loophole to make sure that it's only people who pass background checks um, that have access to firearms. Um, and uh, and I'm, I'm willing to continue to have a, a conversation because people uh, should not live in fear of getting killed at Walmart or saying goodbye to their children forever when they get on the school bus. Will there be an attempt to uh, override the veto? Um, well, I'll be talking with the uh, with the Senate Pro Tem, and and we'll have a conversation about that. Um, you know the votes as well as I do. 
uh, in terms of what was voted. So uh, the House isn't close to that 100, to be quite blunt. Um, but there are um, there are active conversations about what reasonable steps we can take, because um, because it's my firm belief that protecting the Second Amendment also means keeping guns out of the hands of people who would do harm.